Uh, thank you very much, Linda, for sitting with me today. I was uh, looking at you introducing all the great features of F-150 Lightning. I can tell you must uh, be very proud of it. But if you have to name a few, what are you most proud of, uh, of about this uh, electric version of America's favorite pickup truck? Well, yeah, exactly. It's America's favorite truck, so we have a very high bar. And um, it's important for us to make sure we deliver on that promise that F-150 has with durability and capability and making sure that we um, deliver that built for tough promise. So that's the first thing I'm very proud of for the truck is that it does that. Um, but secondly, it's also, um, in a way, an and solution for our customer. It does everything that a gas truck would do, um, like towing and hauling with uh, up to 10,000 10, pounds of towing and 2,000 pounds of payload. But in addition to that, it's elevated with electrification features that only electrification can bring. So for example, um, we have a, a great feature in this truck that leverages the battery that's being used, not just for propulsion, but also as electricity for our customers with pro power on board to give them that functionality of using this as a generator on wheels or in a home situation if you have power outage um, like many um, times homes do with storms this truck provides that backup power um, for the home aut autonomously in a way. So that's another really wonderful feature that I love about this product. And I think my favorite is really the mega power trunk, which is our front trunk. Um, because you don't have an engine, you have all that wonderful space. And with it, it gives our customers um, the best of both worlds. Ford F-Series is not only the best-selling vehicle line in the States for decades, but also an icon of American culture. So it's going electric is quite symbolic. Uh, how do you see the significance and uh, what drives Ford to take such a bold step towards an electric future? That's a great question. Um, you know, and I think that goes hand in hand with our Ford strategy. Um, electrification is super important for us and we have a very dedicated business toward um, really expanding electrification. Um, by 2030, we're planning to have 50% of our vehicles be electric. So it was very important for us to make sure that we hit iconic vehicles with electrification. F-150, like you said, best-selling truck for, or best-selling vehicle in North America for 45 years. Um, it, it's, a, it's a big position and big choose to fill in a way for this truck to build off of and we wanted to be able to do that so that we can showcase to our customers that these are brands that they can trust and nameplates that they can trust and know that they're going to get um, really great products. And let them know this is a future, right? This yes. is a very important transition of the whole auto industry in the States. And also critical to President Biden's efforts to fight uh, climate change and to embrace a new energy economy. That's why he visited a forest plant uh, in Michigan. I remember after a test drive of F-150 Lightning, he said this sucker is quick. <laughs> so he yes. must be uh, very impressed by your work. Yes, he, he came to visit us um, at the plant and I got a chance to show him the vehicle as well as um, uh, attend the um, test track event and um, he was very happy with our progress and I think part of it is because we are um, building on such a great foundation for a product that customers can adopt and um, that they can feel comfortable adopting and that transition that will help that transition that you just mentioned um, from a product perspective and then as this progresses we'll also have you know the infrastructure that goes with it so th those are both really important pieces of getting to uh, uh, you know from a climate sustainability perspective indeed but it can be a lot harder to impress the f-150 loyalists to convince them to uh, switch from gas because you know they like so much about the masculinity of gas powered pickup trucks they like the sound of the engine which shows strength they like uh, you know the the feeling of toughness when off-roading so how could you convince them that the electric version is just as good if not better than the gas version they are used to 
Yeah, you definitely have to convince them that it's better. And that's really what we built this truck on. You talk about um, the performance of the vehicle. The EVs offer great performance. This vehicle with standard dual, dual motors providing 4x4 all the time really um, is part of what's behind the instant torque of 775 foot-pounds of, of, of that instant torque. That is super important for the acceleration and just the, the ability for it to go. Um, couple that with our uh, um, extended range battery and it's 563 horsepower uh, of, of performance, um, getting you zero to 60 in mid four seconds. I think that's one of the things that will definitely help that transition is that ride and drive and that experience in the vehicle for our truck. Um, it's interesting because um, I've met a lot of people that have worked on the truck that are very much hardcore gas F-150 customers or truck customers in general. And they'll say, oh, I'm never going to switch. I, 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 I love my truck. They've gotten in this truck and they have orders and some of them even have uh, you know, their truck coming to them very soon. So I think you know, the, the experience with the truck will really change their hearts and minds in a way. Um, but you're also facing a lot of competitors. How would you convince the con uh, consumers to go with F-150 Lightning instead of, let's say, um, Tesla's uh, uh, Cybertruck? Well, um, I think one of the keys is we're here with the truck and there's nobody out there right now that's offering a full-size pickup at especially this price um, and our, our volumes in a way, right? There's some niche products out there and there's some um, there's some niche products out there with you know very high price tags and then in addition to that there's some concepts but we haven't seen those out yet so i think we have, we're in a really good position of being able to offer this truck to those that want it now or very soon so what are the major technology bottlenecks uh, that are stalling the ev revolution well i think some of it is um just the um adoption, right? The, the need for the adoption and meeting that customer need. And I think some of it is also um, the familiarity with the product. I don't think from a technology perspective that there's anything necessarily holding this back. I think it's on the right path. Um, but a lot of it will come with, uh, a lot of the growth in EVs will come with infrastructure and also come with um, customer demand. On the core EV technology front, is China getting ahead of the US right now? Um, I don't think so. I think there's um, a lot of really great technologies here and we can see that there's a lot of um, good progression here in terms of the product. Um, so, it, you know, it, it is a global world right now and I'm sure we'll uh, uh, see what's going to happen in the future. Uh, do you think the supply chain uh, disruption experienced by American auto industry is making it more complicated? We have a really great team that manages supply chain for us and um, ensures that we're, we're you know, getting the parts that we need to be able to build parts, uh, the, the vehicles. I mean, supply shortage is definitely something that is out there that's a global concern right now, but the Ford team is doing a great job in terms of managing it and making sure that it's not impacting as much as uh, in, in certain areas. You came from China to the States when you yes. were eight years old, yes. and you are now the chief engineer of F-150 in Ford, that's quite an achievement. You went a long way. Um, but as an Asian female, um, have you ever felt like you have to uh, deal with or overcome some, some, some sort of stereotype um, when climbing the uh, career ladder in a male-dominated industry? You know, Ford has been a great company for me to work at, and I personally have not experienced that. Um, I, I think, you know, it, in, um, even in school, I, I had a lot of really great friends that were males and females, and I tried to not think of myself in terms of just being a female or just being, you know, any category per se. Um, but the fact that, you know, we're working with a great team of very diverse uh, team members that bring a really great truck together, and our sole focus is really on making a great product and making sure that we have a great team environment where everybody's contributions are taken um, very seriously and that diversity in thought is something that we actually value very much because I think that helps us a lot with producing a truck that makes, um, makes a great product for different customers with different needs.